Hi guys, welcome back to another edition of Me Moaning, because you know, that's my favourite thing to do. Vibes. Um, <coughs> um, I wanted to talk to you guys about um, a topic that's very near and dear to my heart, and this is dating. Um, I am cooking as we speak, because you know, vibes. I want to talk to you guys about what it's like to date, or what I consider it to be like to date now based around technology and that's how you meet people etc let's get into it vibes <coughs> excuse me literally dying um one thing i want to talk about as a major topic is online dating and this can be in many different forms. Getting those super likes in on Tinder, this can be having a sick Instagram and, you know, having boys or girls, uh, you know, climb up in those DMs on your grid and, you know, Twitter, like, helps people meet these days because, you know, if you're dropping these, these fire tweets that, you know, people want to get to know you, that sort of thing. And there's, like, other dating sites that I'm not super versed on, whether it's, like, Christian Mingle, because, you know, eHarmony or whatever, like, whatever, I'm not on them, so I can't relate, do you know what I mean? Just... Um, so, with that, I think a lot of things kind of follow up from this, so, like, if you've only ever spoken to somebody online, so you kind of know them on many social medias, but you've never fully met them, do you believe that you've got is equally good a connection with them as you would if you'd have met them in a club, or you know, through a mutual friend, like, do you find that these relationships are substantial and are genuine real relationships that you would consider being long term, I guess? Like, is there a science to it? This is something I want to kind of discuss. So I would think it's safe to say that most people have quite a few relationship hangups or they have certain things that they consider absolute no-goes in relationships, things that they really will not budge on, and some things that people kind of have to learn to loosen up on because otherwise they're not going to get anywhere, do you know what I mean? And I believe there is a certain level of self-respect and having to kind of know if you are being a little bit too by the book that you kind of have to loosen up a little bit and allow things just to be what they are, do you know what I mean? Like, we can't always control everything. Um, so one thing that I definitely know that people don't appreciate are like boys. It's, I can't swear because it will get demonetized even though I'm not making any money because you know nobody watches these but vibes. Um, so when we mention the word F boys um, we talk about boys that you know mix signals you know they're talking to like two or three boys at the same time or girls as you. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of game playing. Game playing to me would be, you know, in terms of they'll always be like, you know, I want to see you, I want to like meet up with you or whatever. And then it just never comes to happening. Or, you know, there's a case of where they text you when they want to and then when you reply and you get nothing back. And it's kind of like, is there a general respect here which you're not giving me? And do I need to learn to cut you off? Do you know what I mean? Um, or there's you know, a case of where they're kind of alluding to the fact that they like you but then their Instagram or their Twitter or whatever is telling a different story because they're just trying to be, you know, open to options. Kind of a case of you want me or you don't and I'm very much that person. I'm black or white when it comes to that and it's like I'm also do believe in things like if I'm seeing someone and, you know, we get to the third, maybe fourth day and I think it's going somewhere, I would expect that apps and whatever are deleted and this might not be the case for everyone. Some people might be super chill about this and kind of be like, you know, I don't believe that these apps entirely determine whether this person is, you know, faithful enough to me. And that's totally fine. Like, that's your prerogative and whatever. But to me, it's like, I don't like the idea of them still having windows or whatever to be able to kind of explore other options. Do you know what I mean? Like, if they're about me, then they need to understand that there needs to be a case of they shouldn't be making me feel like there is another situation that I'm not aware of, if that makes sense. Kind of want to face the question of, do we believe that when you're, you know, seeing someone from 
Tinder or whatever, like, the motives are always genuine, like, that these people kind of do actually want to settle down and have long term, because when it's traditional dating and you're kind of seeing a guy, and by this point, because you've both kind of met and you've kind of clicked or whatever, you kind of know that there's something in the air, whereas it's like, with Tinder, you could be chatting to a boy, you know, like, for two weeks, but you don't know whether they're talking to anyone else or, like, if they're just on there because, you know, they want nicky nicky like you don't know so it's like it's hard to kind of judge and I think it's almost it's tough to kind of read some situation where you're physically with each other where you can kind of actually probe those questions and kind of be a little bit more forthright with it because there isn't really much of a, an escape for them or like a way that they can word it where it kind of isn't not the truth but it's also not the full truth do you know what I mean it's like that definitely kind of falls hand in hand with like boys that know how to play the game get you to a position where you feel like you are generally in something decent but they'll throw a blind side and they'll kind of just be like, like you know i don't want strings i'm sorry you know that this got messy and it's like but it only got messy because you allowed it to because you didn't kind of give me the the correct communication of signals do you know what i mean and it kind of makes you then be the bad guy because you're the one that's now acting up because you're just trying to be like you know give me the tea on this, do you know what I mean? Like, I, I can't read your mind, you kind of have to let me know. And I feel like because of technology, this now becomes so much of a regular situation because people feel that they're communicating properly through text or whatever, whereas sometimes you just need someone to be, like, 100 with you in person, do you know what I mean? And just kind of, like, be honest. Like, honesty goes such a long way because it's, like, there's a bravery behind being fearless in what you say, do you know what I mean? Like... We all consider how the other person would feel, but there's almost a case of that person can't fault you. Because at the end of the day, they have to respect the fact that you were honest about it because, you know, you try to save face. So it's like, it's interesting how that kind of works out now with, with the data. There can be seeing someone or like that you're exclusively dating. Like there's so many different plethoras of what levels you can be on that it almost kind of blurs into one and you then actually don't really know where you stand because you could be talking to somebody that you consider exclusive for you know three months but they might not have made it clear enough that they're actually kind of just you know they enjoy your company but they're exploring their options like whereas when you're kind of without that sort of technology and you're kind of like having to be with that person constantly I think you're it's slightly easier to read someone's motives and kind of understand what you know what they're trying to get at because you're like do you want to marry me or not? Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's kind of, you know, you kind of leave that playing field open. That's definitely a big thing that I kind of realise it. Trying to gauge where the other person's at without it being something that actually tarnishes the whole thing in general. Still, super, super unfair stigma against um, how girls and guys date. So, if a guy is obviously talking to a couple of girls, you know... He's a player, he's a boy, he's a... Do you know what I mean? Whereas if it's a girl, then she's, you know, she's getting about and it's like... It ain't it, so. Do you know what I mean? Like, a girl can be entirely in control of her body and it never be a bad thing. Like, slut shaming a girl or, you know, sex shaming, whatever. Like, that girl owns her body. She owns the rights to whatever she does with that body. Like, I don't understand what's hard to understand about that, but it's, you know. She could date three guys within five months, but that doesn't mean that she's not doing anything she's entitled to do. Do you know what I mean? Like, she is just. She's seeing what the world's got. Do you know what I mean? Like, maybe his. Willie wasn't big enough, or, you know, maybe this guy was an absolute meathead, and she was like, you know, give me someone with a brain, like, if a boy can do it, a girl can do it, I think that's totally fair. Why are we even still having this discussion, do you know what I mean? It's like, if he can't respect someone enough to speak to them and be honest with them, then he needs to throw the whole man away, do you know what I mean? Like, it's quite rare nowadays, but like, meeting someone through friends, like, do we find that this means that there's more of a genuine intention, or do we find that there's more chance that you could actually be burnt by this because you're almost too trusting to start with because you believe that because this person is friends with a friend of yours that this means that they're automatically a good person like I definitely think there's a danger in this because you almost have a preconceived idea of who this person is and what they're about whereas they could actually turn around and be completely opposite and you've got to then be like a lesson do you know what I mean it's like it's difficult, it's so difficult, because in the old days, you know, old people probably were like, do you want to get married? And they were like, shout, do you know what I mean? It's like, whereas now it's kind of, there's so much more 
fine tuning and there's definitely a case of the grass is greener so people are like you know he's earning six figures you know he's tall dark handsome but, but he's do you know what I mean and it's like they know that they can get better elsewhere whereas it's like in reality it's never going to be perfect and you kind of if that person makes you happy you kind of roll with it I don't think people believe that compromise is a thing anymore like they have to be with someone that is a-okay 100% perfect well, they don't want it and in reality nobody is perfect so it's like if they are 80% doing bits then roll with it sis like you kind of have to give and take a little bit so that's one thing I've definitely learned is that I've kind of got to be like if this person makes me happy I shouldn't be complaining do you know what I mean like I've just got to be like I've got it do you know what I mean it's like let the magic happen yeah I don't know what else to say like Players are just a mess.